Hey everyone, welcome back to Polarity, my new YouTube channel dedicated to a smarter means of transportation. My name is Lenny J. This morning I woke up to some great news, Elon letting everybody know that full self-driving will be available in its limited beta release on Tuesday, Tuesday of next week, not tomorrow. Now this is huge news because Elon has been hyping up the rewrite of full self-driving for a long time. Now in August he had this to say, and then it was kind of pushed back after that. But here it is in the flesh. It's coming next Tuesday. Now, before I get into the tweet of him talking about next Tuesday, I want to talk about some tweets he had a couple days ago, which I did not touch on in the video. Uh, responding to a couple of tweets, one from Tasha Kini from ARK Invest. If you don't know, Tasha Kini is fantastic. She had a whole Twitter thread based upon the affordability of autonomous driving, robo taxis, and all that stuff. In the last tweet that she had, Elon Musk then responded by saying, Waymo is impressive, but a highly specialized solution. The Tesla approach is a general solution. The latest build is capable of zero intervention drives. We'll release limited beta in a few weeks. That was from October 8th, and he was talking about the limited beta of the rewrite of full self-driving. Now, he, I've noticed that in his latest tweets, he hasn't referred to it as the rewrite of full self-driving anymore. He's just calling it the limited beta release of full self-driving, but it's all the same thing, and I'll show you why in a second. In a tweet responding to Frank Tinsley on the same day, about an hour after he did to Tasha Kini, Frank was talking about high resolution maps and how Waymo does it with uh, their full self driving that they're doing. And he had this to say, exactly, we barked up that tree for way too long, sigh. Gives a false sense of victory being close, a tantalizing local maximum. But reality is just too messy and weird. Our new system is capable of driving in locations we've never seen even once. Now that is huge news in my book. I know a lot of people don't exactly take what Elon has to say to heart or they kind of take it with a grain of salt because they say that he just says a lot of random things and never promises. There are a lot of promises that he has said, of course, that didn't come to fruition, but uh, this is one that actually is. So in responding to Clean Technica, who wrote an article about uh, all of this stuff and his tweets and all that stuff from him responding to Tasha and to Frank and to other people, Elon then responded to Clean Technica by saying, limited full self-driving beta releasing on Tuesday next week as promised. This will at first be limited to a small number of people who are expert and careful drivers. This is pretty big, like it's coming next week. He actually gave a tentative date, like he said, it's next Tuesday. This is when the small, this is when the beta comes out. It's gonna be limited to a small number of people. And if you know how Tesla does their betas, those people who are in the beta program have signed an NDA and are not supposed to actually uh, give out any information or make any videos on it. I assume this is gonna be in that same release of people who are, aren't supposed to re release information or show footage or you know all that stuff that, on that, that are under the NDA. I assume it's the same, but we'll see. Now, as far as that expert and careful drivers, I'm interested in what this means more. I would love to see Elon, you know, just talk a little bit more about that or explain that because in my eyes, we all know that Tesla gathers a lot of data when it comes to the way people drive. They, they can, it's just they gather all kinds of data on it. And I'm wondering if this has something to do with the inside camera, you know, looking at it, monitoring how you're driving with, with autopilot on, or, you know, if you're doing extra things, you're sleeping, eating, texting, or if this has to do with the amount of times that autopilot then has to intervene and say, hey, hey, put your hand back on the steering wheel or give it a nudge or something. I'm not exactly sure what this means. I don't really want to. I guess, um, get into too far deep into assumptions, but I would love to see that explained because I'm curious what part of the Tesla system is analyzing to realize if you are a, self, a, a safe driver or not. I'm just curious. We'll see what happens, you guys. Uh, next week is going to be an interesting week. If you're in the beta program and you, you know, you liking it and you got a video or something, you want to send it to me, please send it to me. My email is on the screen. I would love to take a look at it. You know, you want to leak it to me and I'll make a little video on it. You know, I'm not a snitch. Like, I'm not going to tell nobody who you are or where I got this from. But, you know, if you just want to send it to me, too, because I would love to just see it without making a video. Either way, it's cool. I really want to see what this looks like and how good this new rewrite is for full self driving because this has been a long time coming and I wanna see just how capable this is of zero intervention drives. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching this episode of Polarity. My name is Lenny J. If you want to buy a Tesla, I do have a Tesla code, a referral code that'll get you a thousand free supercharging miles, among other things when it comes to solar and stuff like that. So hit up that link in the description for more if you wanna use my code. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next episode.